And now, an up-close look at a very special ordination that took place in Rome this week at the International Mater Ecclesiae Seminary. Seven new Syro-Malabar deacons and eight subdeacons were ordained by His Beatitude, Cardinal George Allen Cherry, the major archbishop of the Syro-Malabar Church. The special ordination liturgy is full of meaningful tradition, and every rite, ritual, prayer, and hymn is rife with deep theological symbolism. The rite begins with special prayers for the bishop, asking that his unworthiness may be resolved through the grace of Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, so that God might complete this great divine service through the bishop's feeble and unworthy hands. The role of subdeacons is one of service. They prepare the church and the faithful for the divine liturgy and read the prophetic books. The ordination rite of the subdeacons includes the presentation of the candidate to the bishop by the archdeacon and is followed by the tonsure, where each candidate kneels down before the bishop as he cuts off a small piece of hair. The rite of tonsure comes from the Old Testament in Isaiah 7.29 and Numbers 6.18. It's a sign of purification and the beginning of a new life. As the bishop cuts the lock of hair of the candidate, he prays that Christ may remove all the burden and stain of sin. The rite signifies a conversion, a new beginning at the threshold of the subdeacon's new ministry. And while in this state of purity, the subdeacons face the new ministry with faithfulness to God and his covenant. The bishop prays for the purification of the candidate and invokes the graces, virtues, and gifts of the Holy Spirit as the subdeacon is then vested with a stole and receives a book of the Psalms and a cruet. In the Sir Malbar Church, there has always been this practice of having subdeacons, uh, men who are particularly ordained to serve at the altar. And now with the subdeaconate today, it continues to be that ministry, but also in progression as men move towards the priesthood. So today I received the subdeaconate and um, I was invested with this stall, which is a symbol of the priesthood, the priesthood being... Um, service towards God and towards the people. So I was invested with this stall today. Um, but ultimately, the subdeacon is one that serves at the altar. He is one that assists the priest and the deacon, who are the ministers during the Qurbana, the Holy Qurbana. For the seven new deacons, the diaconal ordination rite has its origin in Acts 6, where the apostles laid their hands upon the elected candidates and appointed them to the ministry of the altar. It includes a profound series of rites and rituals, which begin by the ordinandi approaching the altar for the first time, one step at a time. Psalms 15 and 122 are sung, recounting the state of internal purity that one must be in to enter God's holy place and to constantly gaze up towards heaven. The bishop and the deacons are reminded to put their trust completely in God, the source of all spiritual gifts. The imposition of hands by the bishop has three parts and begins by invoking the theological attributes, the gifts from God, which are the graces needed to serve at the holy altar with a pure heart and conscience, so that as the new deacons proclaim the epistles during the liturgy, they may also glow with works of justice and charity, living exemplary lives as they dispense the divine life-giving mysteries. In a sign of total humility and submission, they prostrate themselves on the floor before being vested with the stole of the deacon and presented with a book of the epistles that they will use to proclaim the word. Eventually, each is led to the altar to kiss both sides as a sign of taking possession of the altar for the very first time. As they venerate the altar, the beautiful verses of Psalm 145 are sung as a sign of trust in God who is always near to all who call on him in truth. It is he who fulfills the desires of all who fear him and preserve all who love him. And the psalm speaks the praises of his name and declares that all flesh will bless his holy name forever. The holy kurban of the Sira Malabar rite is very profound. It expresses the great mysteries of Christ. When we go through the liturgical um, rubrics, 
and the symbols and signs, we see that during the Daikinet ordination, each step towards the altar is significant. Just as Jesus went up to the Mount Calvary step by step, we deacons also go towards the Calvary, that is the altar, to sacrifice. And just as Mary was there beside Jesus in her presence, what I feel personally in this diaconate ordination is that Mary also was there along with me to climb each step, the one worthy, but with the help of God's grace. The ceremony concludes with the bishop praying for the newly ordained, that Christ, who has advanced them in their ministry, will also perfect them in the work of righteousness forever. The bishop calls on the intercessory prayers of Mother Mary and the saints, and then invokes the strength and blessing of all the glorious Trinity, that all help and goodness be bestowed as an aid unto these weak and humble servants, both now and forever, through the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 